वेलकम विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर एट फॉर क्लास सेवन जोग्राफी दैट्स ह्यूमन एनवायरमेंट इंटरेक्शन मेनली फोकसिंग ऑन द ट्रॉपिकल एंड द सब ट्रॉपिकल रीजन नाउ द नेक्स्ट थ्री चैप्टर्स फॉलो ऑन अ रीजनल बेसिस द टॉपिक्स आर रीजनल बेस एंड वॉट वील बी डूइंग इन चैप्टर एट इज मेनली फोकसड ऑन टू रीजन वट वन इज द एमेजॉन बेसिन एंड नेक्स्ट इज द गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्रा बेसिन Uh, what the NCERT book has is the case study of these two regions. So we'll be focusing uh, primarily on these for the coming lectures. Now the first is life in Amazon basin. Now let's first look at the map of South America and see where the Amazon basin exactly is. So this is the area where you have the Amazon River that flows in. It covers most of Brazil, parts of Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela, and then you have the amazon river that flows through here amazon river is also known for changing its colors and the place where the river flows into another body of water is known as the river mouth this region is mainly an equatorial region as we discussed previously the region lying 10 degree north and south of equator are the regions of uh, are the equatorial regions now what is the classic characteristics of equatorial region first is the hot and humid climate the weather is mainly sticky there is difference during the day time and the night time so in the day time you would have hot uh, high temperature i can say high temperature and high humidity however during the night time what would happen the region would have low temperature but still high humidity now this region is predominantly occupied by what are known as rain forests so all the tropical regions are mainly occupied by rain forest now the classic characteristic of rain forest are these have dense growth of trees since they have dense growth of trees the sunlight cannot penetrate deeper as a result the undergrowth of the trees or the undergrowth of the shrubs is very less the ground is mainly dark and damp so the region towards the bottom would be dark and damp because sufficient sunlight cannot pass into that region through the huge lot of canopy that overflows it so the ground region would be mainly dark and damp uh, there would be shade tolerant vegetations that would be found now <coughs> if we talk about vegetation South America specifically the Amazon basin mainly has potato cassava uh, maize and pineapple as the main crop sweet potato as a main crop now cassava is a crop which is similar to potato and it's grown specifically in the regions of South America uh, it is also known as manioc that's another name for cassava so these are the primary vegetations settled life is very less mostly it's a kind of uh, hunting and gathering lifestyle that is found in the tribal belts of amazon river uh, basin post 1970s there has been drastic changes in the lifestyle of amazon uh, region with more of industries coming in you have uh, uh, settlements that are being seen here uh helicopters and aeroplanes has provided areas which are now accessible to common man and there has been developmental activities that are seen in parts of amazon basin however the main core of amazon still is inaccessible for most of the uh, uh, days of a year now what are the major flora and fauna when it comes to wildlife monkeys sloths uh, tapirs tapirs are the main uh, fauna or the wildlife that is seen here then you also have crocodiles pythons anaconda that are seen uh, among the birds you have uh, uh, kind of birds which are mainly pheasants and monas besides that you also have kind of uh, plant parasites that are seen a common plant parasite bromidale that is seen here and this is a unique uh, parasite because it stores a lot of water in the leaves itself so it stores its water mainly in the leaves and then you have another plant parasites as orchids that are seen in the amazon basin so these are some of the common characteristics again since you have the tribal population that dominate here you have kind of slash and burn agriculture that is seen 
which is what we call as the shifting cultivation that we discussed in the previous class so you you grow crops in one region then you put it on fire and you move on to the next cropping belt and this region which has been left barren would uh, gain it or replenish its nutrients in a period of two to three years and then again back you can do cropping on that region so that's a kind of primitive agricultural technique that is seen still in the amazon region so slash and burn is the main uh, kind of uh, agricultural practice that is seen women or the female member of the society usually take care of the cropping patterns however uh, males are mainly engaged in hunting and gathering of the food again uh, the commercial crops that are now grown here include coffee maize and cocoa uh, cocoa that's the main crops that are grown here so this is a kind of brief outline about the amazon basin the next you have the ganga brahmaputra basin so when we talk about ganga brahmaputra basin as we said it runs from the uh, origin of ganga far into the regions up to bangladesh where it finally merges with brahmaputra to form the delta area now as you move along ganga you would have different characteristics uh, of vegetation that would be seen first of all this whole region of ganga is mainly occupied by numerous towns so you are you would have alabad lucknow kanpur varanasi that you would see in uttar pradesh then you have kolkata in west bengal uh, then you would have kosi in bihar so you would have numerous major towns that are seen along the ganga brahmaputra uh, rivers that flow here so this is ganga and this is brahmaputra that flows and finally merges into the brahmaputra delta uh, ganga brahmaputra delta the region where this delta is formed is known for its mangrove vegetation mangrove vegetations are known for their unique trees because of the land uh, marshy land areas the roots cannot survive down so they move up and they take air from the atmosphere so roots are penetrating up and such roots are known as nematophores so nematophores are the roots that are kind of aerial roots we also call these as aerial roots and they are seen in the mangrove vegetation most of the uh, region where ganga flows is a fertile bed so you have the fertile areas of ganga that are seen rich in agriculture mainly production of wheat and uh, production of rice towards the coastal areas is seen this is again a high density area with improvement in transportation there are lot many avenues for agriculture and cropping patterns that have come up again this is a monsoon dependent region so region from june to september you have kind of good vegetation agricultural vegetation that is seen in this region summers are hot winters are cold in this region as you go higher in the elevation you would have changes in the trees that you would see so you would have uh, teak sal that would be seen and further higher in the elevations you would have conifers that you would see towards the himalayan region again uh, you have a kind of unique uh, uh, fauna that is found in the regions close to west bengal that is susu that is you have a kind of dolphin that is you call that as blind dolphin and this dolphin is recently in news because it's kind of getting endangered due to the fact that you have lot of uh, pollutants and industrial waste that are flowing in so as a result you have a huge depletion in the population of dolphins that is seen in this region uh, again this region is known for tourism activities so you have uh, taj mahal in agra then you have major religious centers located close to the ganga river you have haridwar varanasi as some of the regions then in lucknow you have imambara uh, you have kaziranga forest areas uh, in assam then you have forest areas in the hills of darjeeling where you have the tributaries of brahmaputra that flows in uh, so these are the major highlights for the ganga brahmaputra basin we'll be covering more topics uh, and more chapters for ncert in the further lectures you can subscribe to our channel for more details have a good day ahead